Alright, let's so look at Pride and Prejudice today by Slayer of the Repentance album. This is one of the six songs in Robert B tuning on that album. So um you know low E becomes low B um, and that's five half steps below E. Uh, I might be a bit sharper than B but because you know, the strings kind of don't adapt very well to that tuning. <laughs> uh, and all the other strings are three half steps down, okay? And you have the tuning notes in the middle of the slide for your reference, okay? So the intro riff. Okay, and that's the first line and not much to say about this, right? It's straightforward, nothing is muted, everything open. Uh, and the verse riff in the second line. Okay, so we have a couple of pan muted notes at the end of the line there. And yeah, that's the intro and the verse riffs. Quite straightforward. Um, the chorus riff, now here is like two. It goes like that, right? So again, like, Lusty based on the intro riff and uh, Yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm not gonna say that much about that uh, straightforward again more or less and here the break riff on side 3 Okay, so that's uh, also quite straightforward, hopefully. Um, and uh, slide four, we have another break. Uh, so, uh, yeah, by the way, after the first break, you're obviously gonna play another verse, uh, which I haven't written up here, but uh, but after that, you're gonna have, um, yeah, this, so slide four. So you're gonna do... Okay, so uh, the first two bars should be straightforward, I hope, um, but um, the final bar that we play four times, by the way, it's a bit more tricky, maybe. Uh, so basically, your right hand is gonna pick like a very regular 16 note pattern, no? pretty much like this, okay? And all those kind of quicker notes that you can hear, I think he plays them legato. I've seen his live performances, I'm pretty sure all the, they are all legatos. Uh, so, uh, this first uh, kind of tricky part in, in the second beat, it's basically you're gonna pick uh, open B and then 13th fret, and then you're gonna pick 13th fret again uh, with the down stroke. And then you're gonna have this quick pull off, right? And then you're gonna come down with your uh, index finger to the 10th fret and pick it, okay? So, something like that, okay? And 
then uh, at the end of the of the bar we have this another tricky thing. But it kind of goes like this. So it's uh, first you have the open E uh, or open B, but mute it, and then again uh, pick the open string, non muted this time or slightly muted. Uh, and then you're gonna quickly hammer on to the first fret, and then pick the fourth fret, and then you have a, gonna have a quick hammer on from f one to three. Okay, and then you're gonna go back to the beginning of the riff. So it's like, okay. So now that my, my right hand plays regular 16 notes. I don't pick. There's no galloping with your right hand, as far as I know, I think, uh, as far as I have seen, but I might be wrong, but I don't think. <laughs> okay, so that's the kind of anatomy of that riff, um, and this is what I think he plays. Alright, and after that you're gonna repeat the verse and the chorus again, and um, and then after that you're gonna have uh, a guitar solo uh, backing riff here on slide 5, and it's basically this. the first two bars. The next two bars are all of the same, except for the final two chords at the end of the line. Okay, so basically yeah, we have a little galloping riff here. And then... Okay, and then this again. Right, um, and in the second line, we're gonna have the familiar riff. Right, and uh, after that, as you can see, you're gonna play the chorus riffs uh, two times again. And uh, well, the chorus riffs you have, if, if you remember, on slide two. Um, so you can go back there if you need it. And uh, here, slide six, we're gonna have another break. I mean, almost the same as before. Finally, on slide seven, we're gonna uh, play the you know, the treat riff again, and that will kind of end the song. Uh, and there is some kind of a new riff intertwined in between all this everything. So I'm gonna play this whole thing through. Right, and that's Pride and Prejudice. I hope you like it and have fun.